It can be easy to generalize or talk about robots under a single robotics banner, but there are significant differences between the various subsets of robotics, such as industrial versus consumer robots. There is some overlap where innovations made in one sphere are applied to the other and vice versa. But the average Joe isn't too invested in what robot arm can build cars the fastest. Most people want to know, what can a robot do for me? In this video, we will be showing you robots that will do your chores for you. The answer to the question above leads to the consumer robotics market, where engineers, programmers, roboticists, and designers are striving to develop robots that will make our daily lives easier, help care for the sick and injured, or provide companionship and entertainment. The current market for personal and domestic robots is growing, with a rapid rise expected over the next three years, according to a report by the International Federation of Robotics. Vacuum and floor cleaning robots are currently the most established type of robot in the market. According to the IFR, the value of the domestic service robot market is up by 27% to $2.1 billion, which includes robots sold for tasks including vacuuming, window cleaning, lawn maintenance, among others. Floor cleaning robots, robo mowers, and robots for edutainment, the latter increasingly referred to as social robots, have increasingly become part of our lives. Future product visions point to domestic robots of higher sophistication, capability, and value, such as assistive robots for supporting the elderly, for helping out with household chores, and for entertainment, said Martin Hagel, chairman of the IFR Service Robot Group and author of the report. So, what do people really want from home robots? And what types of robots could fulfill these wishes and applications? There are new, more advanced bots making their debut each year, and soon they will be capable enough to truly be useful, and ubiquitous enough to bring the price down to something reasonably affordable. Let's be honest, we all basically want a robot butler. When we dream of home robots, we're usually dreaming of the answer to the question, to quote the immortal words of Homer Simpson, can't someone else do it? The only difference is exchanging robots for garbage collectors when determining who we want to give all that work. One of the biggest draws to the idea of home robots is having someone to take care of the many important and necessary but boring tasks that take up our time each day. Whenever robots enter the discussion, there are concerns about lost jobs and unemployment. But much of what we would have domestic robots do are tasks that are done by the homeowner themselves and not external workers. If displace more jobs means eliminate dull, repetitive, and unpleasant work, the answer would be yes. How unhappy are you that your dishwasher has replaced washing dishes by hand, your washing machine has displaced washing clothes by hand, or your vacuum cleaner has replaced hand cleaning? Our guess is this job displacement has been very welcome, as will the job displacement that will occur over the next 10 years, said Hal Varian, chief economist for Google. Household chores make up the most anticipated set of tasks poised for a robotic takeover. Who doesn't want someone or something to wash their dishes, help with laundry, clean up a room by putting things away, and vacuuming? While it's true that Roombas already exist to vacuum your floors, there are also many more future chore bots in the works, capable of handing more complex chores, such as laundry. While 20th century machine washers and dryers were one great step forward, the whole process still requires a person to load and unload the machines, and to fold and sort clean clothing at the end of the process. The complexity of laundry as a task is a challenge, but there are already a few laundry folding robots in development and soon to be available to consumers. Two examples are the Foldamit and the Laundroid, which are cabinet-like robots which claim to do the work of folding laundry quickly and easily, with minimal human involvement. Both laundry robots use a combination of machine vision to identify articles of clothing, grippers, and arms to fold, and machine learning to determine the optimal way to manipulate each piece and sort it at the end of the process. The concept is great, and if they work as well as they claim, machines like those could definitely make laundry night a bit less time consuming. Though at present, a person still needs to transfer a pile of clothes from the dryer to the folding machine. Putting it in a drawer or feeding the pieces into the process by hand, it's easy enough to imagine how adding some other robot into the process 
or a few more tech additions, could take care of these in-between human steps too. Not to mention activities like iron and clothing or putting it away in appropriate closets. Cooking is another task that often features in a science fiction home where food is prepared and served almost like magic with no effort from the diner. While we aren't at the level of a Star Trek food replicator just yet, the idea of an autonomous robot kitchen is thriving. Perhaps the most interesting example that comes across the counter is the Robotic Kitchen by Moly Robotics in the UK. The system features two eye-catching, fully articulated robot arms that move just like a human's does and can cook up a variety of stored recipes with fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. It's exceptionally slick in looks and performance and is being billed as a way for anyone to enjoy recipes created by famous chefs or various cultures around the world, which are prepared exactly the same as those humans would do. However, at least for now, the system is still in development and will have the notable obstacles of requiring users to have a house they can renovate to install the system, as well as needing the money to make the initial purchase as well as covering the installation costs. This means in the short term, at least, these will remain very much a luxury item. However, it's easy to see how a robotic meal preparation system and recipe library could change this household task in the future. For example, by enabling people with mobility or cognitive impairments, such as seniors, to be able to customize a menu for their nutritional and health needs and have it all prepared for them with a simple touch of a screen. Add in the capability to wash dishes afterwards and put them away in the cupboards, and many people who need assistance with these daily tasks would be able to live independently. A robotic kitchen will also save the time spent preparing meals with options such as remote activation, where you can choose your meal and start the cooking process on the way home from work or school, and be able to eat as soon as you arrive home, freeing up time to spend with family and friends, pursuing hobbies, or enjoying entertainment. But as cool as a kitchen with robot hands would be, many still dream of the day that autonomous, freestanding, humanoid robotic butlers are available to do chores and clean up after us. Since humanoid robots are one of the holy grails of robotics, it's no surprise that there are tons of companies aiming to develop the first and best home robotic butler. Rosie the Robot, from the classic cartoon of the Jetsons, is of course the archetypal example, able to converse with the family, perform all household chores, and learn new tasks with ease. Though true autonomous service robots may still be more than a decade away, there are already more than one bot on offer that claims to possess the capability to handle household chores and interaction. PAL Robotics' Ream and Honda's Asimo are two such examples, but Aeolus Robotics is offering a household robot that, so far, is functionally the closest to a true robotic housekeeper. Granted, all three home robots are described as capable of human-like motion, interaction with humans, and the ability to learn new tasks, but Aeolus is designed specifically for a variety of household-specific chores, such as operating a traditional vacuum or mop to clean floors, recognizing more than 1,000 household items, and being able to pick them up and put them away where they belong. Aeolus can also learn to recognize family members and their preferences, such as knowing which objects a person is likely to ask for. That's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe to get more content like this. Also, click on the notification bell to get notified when we upload in the future.